Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler. You may recall that we've looked a lot at Spaceballs before, and if you have blocked that out of your memory, I'm not surprised because there's just a crap ton of Spaceballs stuff out there. But I include Spaceballs in my Star Wars Home Video Library, so we've looked at the different releases, and there are a ton of them over time. One of the things we looked at early on was the fact that most of the releases of Spaceballs were just a single disc that is single layer, but two-sided, that included the widescreen and full screen versions of Spaceballs with relatively little in the way of bonus features compared to a collector's edition that we also saw. And that disc kept being reissued in packages over and over and over and over and over again over time. The one that didn't tend to see much reissue was this one from 2005. This is that special collector's edition version, as it's called up at the top, collector's edition. This is a two disc release that includes more bonus features, but the film is only widescreen. We looked at that previously. Now, I figured I was done with this stuff, but YouTube user Devin NY Troy, eagle-eyed, spotted another of these on eBay and pointed me to it. So yes, we've got another friggin' Spaceballs to look at. Now, again, I'd refer you back to the episode on this for what this release is so that we don't have to go into heavy detail here. The new one we're looking at is from 2008, three years later, and is a repackage of that same thing. Okay, It is the exact same thing underneath, in this case without a insert or an insert, but it's those same discs. Okay, So we've seen this aspect of it. What's new is the slip cover. Okay, So it says, Premiere Collection. Must be Premiere because it's cool and it's a better version of Spaceballs because it's not a premiere in terms of its first time being on home video or anything like that. But I guess that would have an E on it, wouldn't it? Okay. So we have essentially that same cover art just shrunk down to have the red border around it to say premiere collection up at the top. Okay. The spine. Going to have your MGM UA home video up there. Spaceballs, Scroob, and DVD. Okay. Same thing on the other side. And the back... Premier Collection up at the top, that's where you'll see your UPC going through it. A screamingly funny, which we've seen them say many times, that is the Los Angeles Times. Information about the film, of course. Two cool shots here. Okay. Uh, not actually from the film itself. Special features, and the list of special features along with vital stats, and then legalese down at the bottom. So, not really a whole lot to say about it, but thanks to Devin NY Troy for pointing this out to me, because yes, it means yet another friggin' Spaceballs release to add to my collection. Again, it is the same thing as this from 2005, with a new slipcover over it. That's all that it is. But it is the better way of getting a Spaceballs DVD if you're not picking up the Blu-ray of it, because it is that collector's edition with the two discs, the widescreen film, and extra bonus features that you won't get otherwise. Definitely the one that I'd go for if you're not going for this one, if you're still in the era of DVD when it comes to Spaceballs. Just wait till you get to Blu-ray, because we've already seen there's a shit ton of those, aren't there? Spaceballs the merchandising. No kidding. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.